Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making some really fun DIYs using the Real Wood from Dollar Tree. These are not really really pretty and they're actually higher quality so I know you guys are going to love them. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, make sure you are subscribed and let's get on into crafting. So first up, I had this really cool idea to build a little wooden box, kind of like a tree skirt for the small Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. So these are the perfect size little pieces of wood, and I've been collecting them when I find them at my stores, but I'm seeing them out in all of the Crafter Square. And I thought that it would fit around the tree. Now I did end up having to trim down the tree base, but it was no big deal. So I went ahead and constructed my box just by hot gluing them where they meet, as well as taking some of the tower blocks and putting a ton of glue and pushing it in there. So it just has that extra support. I know the little bases that go at the bottom of the tree are super trendy whether you are getting the woven basket ones or the metal rings which I have been seeing a couple of people share that they are finding mini ones at Dollar Tree. I'm not that lucky so I just thought this was a great way to build your own and it actually looked like nice and something that you can use from year to year. So I continue to piece those together. I put two together at a time and then turning them into this box and then securing those corners with more tower blocks just like I did in the beginning. I'm just doing this the best I could. I know I was trying to be super careful with it, not pull it apart, but this was really sturdy. And then I felt like the seams weren't as pretty. You can see that my box to get it square, I did kind of overlap it at each corner. So I'm cutting down some popsicle sticks to just make little corners to cover up the ugly edges. And I love how this looks. So whenever I get my popsicle sticks cut down to size, I'm just making sure I push them together to make a as perfect as an angle as I can get. And then you can see it didn't fit down in the box like I mentioned, so I just trimmed off the little base. I was actually really shocked, but my scissors went right through those little feet and I was able to trim them down. And then I decided that it needed to kind of stand up better <laughs> because cutting those down, it just didn't stand up. So I am just reusing a wooden pumpkin, but any other piece of wood would work. I just using just leftovers and then for the box um you could go several different ways here i think a whitewash would be really pretty as well as just staining it but i found that the dollar tree wood pieces sometimes don't take stain that great for me so i decided to go with paint using this truffle brown color and i started off super light just to see kind of the look that i was going for but just brushing this over in the same direction, but then on the corners I am going up and down. But this gives it kind of a stained look, kind of a rustic farmhouse look, so definitely paint this to match your style. I had to dress this up and not just leave it plain. So I picked up just a Dollar Tree ornament, pulling off the little hanger, and then gluing this on the front. I even reattached the little pine cones that came off the top and it also covers up the holes that the hanger was put through. I was absolutely loving how it is looking. Now I wanted to dress up this tree. So since I'm sharing with you the base DIY, I didn't put a ton of work into the tree, but I want to share with you how I spruce them up. Whenever I do pick up these Dollar Tree trees, they are kind of scraggly looking and not the best. So I do take some of these garland ties also from the Dollar Tree and kind of wrap them around the center. And then I am just giving it a faux flocked look by adding in some white chalk paint. But inside this box, I think it looks so beautiful and rustic farmhouse and perfect for that cabin cozy Christmas. Next up is my favorite project that I've made in a while. This just makes me so happy to make some snowmen. So for this, I picked up three of these wooden planks from the Dollar Tree. I think I actually ordered a huge a pack of them online, but it's been over a month or so ago. Um, 
but you can substitute with any type of wood that you find from the hardware or try to find some Dollar Tree signs this size. First thing I did was cut down the top one just a little bit and to make this super simple I like to use just a utility knife or razor blade. This is actually a mini one that I picked up just for small projects because I am that I couldn't find my um, bigger razor blade when I wanted to cut this down so I did struggle a little bit getting that but these will break off if you score them enough and you don't have to use any saws or power tools to get this cut off. So then I picked up these little yard stakes from Dollar General but you can find them at Walmart or just use like a square dowel rod or even the painters um, sticks or anything like that paint sticks so I cut these down these were just a dollar with my handsaw and I get asked a lot why I don't secure my handsaw to the table but that's just so I can put it in the frame and show you that I am cutting it down and then glued these down in place I did space them out a little bit to make the perfect wooden snowman After I got it all assembled together, I am going in with some white chalk paint and I do want some of that natural wood color to show through the backing. So just dry brushing over the edges, but putting a lot of white paint in the middle and do this on all three planks as well as some of those back little stake pieces that you can kind of see through there. Um, but I love how this looks and you can see that wood through there. This was absolutely the most fun part, decorating this little guy up. So I went ahead and picked up a scarf and a pair of matching earmuffs from the Dollar Tree. I love this Juncture brand. They make such like high quality pieces. So I was debating how I was gonna get that scarf wrapped around it because it is super long, but I just decided to go for it and I would cut it down if I needed to and I ended up not having to. I just took some hot glue and it um, kind of tacked it up higher so it wouldn't drag the ground and then went ahead and secured on his earmuffs with some more hot glue. I was worried about his little earmuffs um, ripping off so I did add in some extra hot glue to the back and then put some little tower blocks back there just to have extra surface area to hold on to and then it was time to paint his little face so I used a sharpie to just kind of outline where I wanted his eyes I didn't worry about it getting perfect this is just a fun little craft for me and if you wanted to put this outside I would make sure it's on a covered porch and make sure you spray paint it um, with some clear spray paint but be careful because sometimes that makes sharpie or permanent permanent marker bleed on your paint or kind of run so um, you might want to not use sharpie and just use the paint before you spray it but I think I'm going to keep him inside and just either put it by the fireplace or by the tree painted on a nose and then using the back of my paintbrush I added in his button mouth I wanted to keep him pretty simple, so I left that as is, but if you wanted to go ahead and add an extra touch, I thought it would be really cute even if you wanted to pick up a few sticks out of the yard. You could give him some little hands or maybe hot glue some little mittens on the sides, but I left him as is, but I needed it to stand up, so I'm gluing in some of these little cubes that I picked up, these wooden cubes from Dollar Tree, and that just gave it a really nice sturdy base. And then I didn't like how the base was just this natural wood, so I did go over it with some mineral color so it's not too harsh not too light but he turned out so cute and I'll definitely be making this in a ton of more colors The Dollar Tree Real Wood is a perfect way to dress up the Dollar Tree art to make it go from just looking cheap and plain to a higher end look. So for this, I'm gonna share with you how I built a frame. Super, super easy. All I did was take four of these wooden pieces and I think they were called like chunky planks or something like that. Um, but I was able to pick up 
two in the 10 inch and two in the 12 inch and this worked perfect for this sign. I did have to cut down the two in the middle just about an inch shorter um, so you could look for maybe a little bit shorter ones but they were too big for the frames. So I did cut that down and then it painted these with some brown truffle paint. I like the distress look so I did use sandpaper to go over that and make some of the raw wood show through which I think gives it a really fun effect and then just hot glued these directly down onto the sign so it was not hard at all just to kind of line these up and glue these down and I didn't even have to use like wood glue or anything mine's holding sturdy but if you do want like a longer hold you can opt for a different glue but I feel like this definitely dresses it up. If you do want to opt out of building the entire frame, you can just take a couple of pieces and dress this up by gluing it at the top and the bottom and it makes like this little scroll sign. So for this one, I wanted to switch it up and make it look a little bit different. So I'm painting those top and bottom pieces with this black chalk paint and then it'll look like it really coordinates and like it was supposed to go together. I glued on a little wooden bead hanger just using the Dollar Tree wooden beads and then to really make this hold on strong I glued them in between some popsicle sticks. I know I kind of had to overlap that one but this looks really cute from the front. I love the wooden bead against the black. I feel like this gives it such a polished look and hanging on the wall this looks like an actual sign that you'd purchase from the store. I know if Dollar Tree puts out any little red truck decor, it's gone in a second. So I wanted to share with you how you can fix up some of these little toy wooden trucks that I found. I took each of the trucks and just kind of wedged off the little peg that was on the back um, to give them just a finished look or a smoother look than having that little ball on the back. And I wanted to add in a tree. So the first thing I do was paint this with my red chalk paint. I try to be super careful around the wheels, but you actually can press them forward and get in between there. And then after I let that dry. And then after that dried, I tried to carefully go around the windows just to get them as perfect as possible, painted the wheels, and then I was able to add in some decor in the back. using some garland ties, which you could use the little Dollar Tree Christmas trees and just cut them down, but I like to save those for bigger projects. So I'm just adding a piece of greenery in the back and then I thought it would be fun, instead of just having greenery, to add in my pine cones and berries that I add on everything. So just um, using some of the leftover mini little pine cones from fall, I glued those back there as well as ripping off some red berries off of some floral stems I have and adding those two. And then I took some white chalk paint and flocked over the top of this giving it a frosted look and it looks snowy but I thought the truck needed some snow too so I just added that around a little bit like to the top areas that it looked like it had fallen on and you could set this on a table it'd be really cute as is but I wanted to share with you how you could also add a hanger to this I'm just tying some jute twine around each wheel adding in a little bit of hot glue to really secure this down and then um, you can also hang this as an ornament You could fix these up, change the colors, make them different colors, um, but I love how this turned out and I love how they look homemade for a fun like family sweet Christmas. Thank you all so much for coming along and crafting with me today. I love that Dollar Tree is putting out all of this real wood. It makes it so easy to craft and create and all of our projects turned out a lot more sturdy than trying to tear everything apart from Dollar Tree like we used to have to to get these little wood pieces. So, so excited. Um, let me know what you're working on. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.